My name is Brock Page, and welcome to Throwing Darts. We have ourselves some Stanley Cup NHL playoff action Sunday night, and that is tonight. I'm talking about Pittsburgh plus one and a half at Nashville with the total at five and a half goals. Currently, the Predators are laying a buck 40 on the money line, and at the moment, 61% of the money's on Nashville to get the job done. Projected starters Annette Murray for the Penguins, Rene for the Predators. Speaking of Nashville, they're down 3-2 in the series, but have been excellent at home, winning both of their home games in convincing fashion. As a matter of fact, what, uh, Nashville won games 3 and 4 by an average of nearly 4 goals per victory. They're also 33-18 and 18 at home while winning a respectable 58% of their games as the official favorite. Things are looking good for this Predator squad as they're facing a Penguins team who's winning just 46% of their road games this season. Pittsburgh's also won just 11 of 25 games as the underdog or even money. Having said all that, it isn't all dark clouds for Pittsburgh betters as these very Penguins win an impressive 70% of their games when Matt Murray makes a start in that. They also lead the season series 4-3 against Nashville in head-to-head -head matchups. Now with all that in mind, the case can indeed be made for either side. But before I go ahead and make a decision on who wins it, Let's go ahead and take a look at the total real quick. We're 3-2 and two for the overs in this very Stanley Cup final. Meanwhile, we're looking at a 2-1 and one record for the overs in the series' three most recent games. Having said that, both Stanley Cup finals games that were played in Nashville thus far are averaging, you guessed it, exactly 5.5 goals a game. Also, games 2 and 4 both went under the current posted a total of five and a half goals. So as usual, the case can be made for either side, and I'm certainly about to pick a winner. But before I do that, I must go ahead and deliver my infamous soliloquy. The time for talk is over. It's time for me to shoot some proverbial darts in my underwear with some severely misguided sports picks in my one-bedroom apartment. All right, guys, so when it comes to the money line, the home team has been dominant in the series, and although this Pittsburgh team wins 61% of their games overall, they've won a despicable 8 of 21 games as the official road underdog. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Nashville Predators are an impressive 30 and 18 versus teams over 500. If I were a betting man, I'd totally lay the 140 on the Predators to get the job done for some money line cash. Now, when it comes to the total, two out of the series' last three games went over five and a half goals. Meanwhile, all five games of this year's Stanley Cup Final are averaging exactly six goals per contest. With all that in mind, I'm going to have to take a stab and say that this one gets over the five and a half. And when it comes to the puck line, that's right, the puck line, the winning team of every game in this series is victorious by an average of 3.6 goals per win. Simply put, the games aren't close, therefore I'm going to ride with the Nashville Predators, minus one and a half, getting the job done on the puck line. All told, I'm pretty, uh, predicting a final score of 4-2 to Nashville, nodding the series up at three games apiece. Well, folks, that is going to do it for me, but before I get out of here, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free, and free ain't good. If for some reason you decide to use the free information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you're betting any of these games, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. For Brock Page Productions, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.